Welcome to August Lico Challenge. Today's problem is pancake sorting. Given an array of integers, we need to sort the array performing pancake flips. A pancake flip is where we select an integer, k or an index, and then reverse the subarray from 0 to that index. Now, they give you a couple examples here, but honestly, I think it's better to ignore that because it ends up becoming more confusing. The secret to this problem really is to just not overthink it, to make it as simple as possible. So keep in mind that we have to flip from 0 to the k, right? So what that means is we're not going to be able to get the minimum, do like a traditional uh, selection sort, select the minimum and get it to the first index, because every time we have to flip everything here into 0. So what we'll have to do then is kind of reverse our thinking and get the maximum number and get that to the end that we want. So we want here in the beginning, to, like we want to get this index number, the last number uh, sorted. So how can we do that? We know we need to check the whole index from here on to the start and we want to get four, right? So how can we get that to the end? Well, we have to flip it twice. We'll have to say first flip three to four, which is going to now be four to three and then flip the whole thing up to this number. And that's gonna then ensure that four is at the end, four, three, two, four. And now that's it. We never touch this index number again. Now we move on to the next one. We say, all right, which one's the max out of here? We see three is, so how do we get that to the back? We flip those like this, and then we'll flip up to this whole thing to get three on the proper index number. So now it's gonna be two, two, one, three, four, and so on and so forth. So that's it. Like that's really the only thing you need to think about. And all these examples here kind of uh, make it more confusing um, and it's really unnecessary. So let's first create a flip function because it's kind of hard to reverse things in place. Um, what we'll do is pass in just the index number, k, and that's going to be called end. St start will always be zero. So while start is less than end, we just swap and decrement and increment our start and ends. So all we do is say, all right, start, end, swap these, and then increment our start and decrement our end. And that's it. So now we need some sort of nested loop. And keep in mind, we can't go forward to, to forward to backward. We have to go backward to forward. Uh, so what we'll do then is say for i, and let's initialize some variables. We'll say n is going to be the length of a, and our output, the thing we'll return, is going to just be a empty list. So for i in range of n minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, because we're going to go backwards. What we do, well, let's first initialize our max index. And we'll just assume that at first it's i. And this will indicate to us whether we want to do this flip or not. Maybe the i is in its right place already. So for j in range of i to minus 1, minus 1, what we check? Well, let's say if a for j, if it's greater than the thing that we've set as our max already, then we want to say, well, max i should be j instead. Once we finished with that, now we want to check to see if we should do any flips at all. So if, uh, I guess if we've changed our, changed our max from the i, then we want to do our flips, right? Let's flip, what do we do? Flip the uh, max i, and then we have to flip to our i, because we need to flip the whole thing to ensure up to that point, this max number goes to the front, and then it gets to the index number that we're caring about right now. We also need to add to our output, right? We need to add the number of k's, that's the whole problem, the k's that we're flipping. So that's kind of like the index number, but we'll have to add one to that. So we'll have to add two, actually. We'll have to add the max i plus one and the output append i plus one. And that's going to be equal to the k. And once we finish that, all we do is return our output. So I realize the, this um, answer doesn't look right at first, but keep in mind that they say straight out that as long as our, our answer sorts the array within 10 times the length, it'll be judged as correct. So let's go ahead and submit that. And there we go, that's accepted. Now, can we do better? Yeah, probably, I mean, definitely we can do better, but 
it's going to be pretty much impossible to exceed O of n squared here. Because of this pancake flip, we have to flip it to the zero at least one time. Uh, so no matter what, we have to do this in n squared time. So I don't really think it's worth it to cr uh, create these, uh, uh, you know, weird solutions. Um, the truth is, I was actually asked this problem a long time ago, and I wasn't able to solve it. It was only after I realized this is it's because I overthought it like this is actually not that difficult. It's pretty straightforward. It's kind of the brute force method, the straightforward method. But that was the actual answer they were looking for. So. Um, so, yeah, sometimes with these problems, it's better to start with the brute force, the straightforward method. And that might be the answer. Like you might not need to do better than that. All right. So thanks for watching my channel. I think I'll end it here. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.